Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Linda Gallio and I am cooking Tuscan Shrimp Bruschetta. What we start off with is our poutines. And basically all you do is olive oil, you spray it on, just lightly. And you do, I like fresh ground pepper, so just a little bit lightly. Just to add, I want to add flavor to all layers and just very lightly salt, not a lot. I want these seasoned. And then you cook them for 400 degrees or nine minutes or until brown. So we'll set those aside. And I have some that are already made up. So we'll use those. I'm gonna start off now with the bruschetta. And basically you use olive oil, or not olive oil, garlic. That up. And I'm just doing a shortcut here. We're using pesto in it. Use three large tablespoons of pesto. And I try not to do so much of the oil because it actually ends up with a lot of liquid. And I'm going to do generously salt and pepper. This is fresh pepper. mix all that up. This is just a shortcut. Um, you can do all these ingredients separately or I like adding a little more garlic. It adds more flavor to it. And we're going to add some balsamic vinegar. And I do a tablespoon. Nice. It's kind of sweet vinegar compared to other vinegars. Marries the flavor very well there. Okay, next I would like to add a little color to this. So what I'm going to do, let me set this aside so you can see, is I have three large um, basil leaves and I'm going to roll those up and do a, a chef and nod. And basically I'm going to do little strips and all that is is uh, pretty much for flavor and for presentation. So it actually does add uh, flavor to it. So this is fresh basil. So and we're gonna throw that in there and mix it up. And it, it looks really good. It's almost like a garnish within the more eye candy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna set this aside. And I would end up using a slotted spoon when I'm spooning these onto the crotinis. So I have that all ready. Set this aside. Next, I'm going to do the uh, pesto shrimp. This is so easy. These are just cooked shrimp. I have about 12. Because not all the um, bruschettas are going to have shrimp on them. So I want, some people don't want shrimp. So they taste great without them. So here we go again. Three tablespoons. I try not to get so much of the oil into the um, shrimp. And I'm not going to use any more of that, so I'm just going to mix this up. This is so easy. Look at this. That's all you do this part. I'm going to add a little pepper, though. I don't even salt it. I like to season every layer. Um, so that way, but I don't like to overly salt. So. There we go. Got that set aside. And now we're going to do the, this is cream cheese, half of, um, four ounces, excuse me. So that's a half of a block of cream cheese. So, and this is softened. And there we go. We're going to do, here we go again, three tablespoons. It's almost like three, three. <laughs> Mix it up. This is our spread. This is how easy it is. And it mixes. And it, this is yummy on sandwiches, with chicken. Um, instead of using shrimp, I've done um, flaming yam and I've done uh, chicken. So, grilled chicken. So, it, that is actually, they've all been hit. So, but the shrimp apparently is the favorite. So, I like it without even. So, 
There we go. We got it all mixed up good. So, and I'm going to put a little bit of pepper, just a little, and a little bit of salt. Because this is a little, would be a little bland without it. Not a lot though. And make sure it's, there's no white showing. And that's it for that. Isn't that easy? Great. Now we can use do our start setting these up. Basically, let me get all the ingredients over here so we can have some fun. I'm just going to spread, here, let me get my knife here, spread this on. First layer is the cream cheese pesto spread. And then we're going to put in some bruschetta. Look at that. And I just set them down and put on a beautiful shrimp. And what I do to garnish it, it's so cute, all it is is snip chives. And I just stick them in like so. Now doesn't that look like a professional? Look at that. So, let's do a few more here. Look how easy this is. Spread. I do generously. I want the flavors. That is so yummy. That's yummy by itself. Each one of these are going to be by themselves. <laughs> Go like that. And I can even garnish with, uh, I use shaved um, parmesan. So that even looks awesome. And then put the little chive in there. So let's do another one here. See how easy these are? And this is very fast. So when you have something quick, you have to throw together. There you go. This would even make a nice dinner. <laughs> so, there we go. And you can even uh, garnish with um, basil. Would look nice. Um, let's do another one here. This nice. This is how quick it is <laughs> to do. Right here is the final product of my Tuscan shrimp bruschetta. And I like to side, serve on the side the uh, ingredients on the side so people can make up their own. So I have a little bar set up here. And I like serving it with Tuscan wine. So, and. This is a wonderful, easy dish that anybody can make. So, and very quick. Here is my Tuscan shrimp bruschetta.